Hello, my name is Tomasz Poszetek. Um, this short video is going to show you how you can use a very powerful but somehow underestimated functionality that we have in um, actionable messages that is called the hide body parameter. Basically, uh, the actionable messages is the technology that allows you to send adaptive card to users Outlook, mobile, web, desktop, whatever and then to allow them to perform actions directly from that message. So the adaptive card is displaying a form, they have buttons, they have input fields, uh, they can provide uh, feedback and say and, and hit submit button so that the contents from this adaptive card is being sent to uh, the target URL. This is very powerful uh, technology when speaking about the Office 365 stack. So you can, as, as mentioned, use it in Outlook Desktop, you can use it in Outlook Mobile, you can use it in Outlook uh, Web version. However, uh, if you, for some reasons, have in your uh, organization a guest user who is um, using, for example, Gmail, then for them, actionable messages are not going to work because Gmail doesn't have uh, the Adaptive Cards SDK implemented, so it is unable to actually um, render the adaptive card within the message content. What we can do instead is to use this height body uh, parameter of flag. You can see it right in there, height original body. It is always set to true, which means that whatever is inside the email that is not an adaptive card, that is not the content wrapped with these two script tags, is going to be hidden in Outlook clients. So if you add there some custom body, some text, some tables, like whatever HTML you want to put there, this content is not going to be displayed in Outlook clients. However, if you send the same email to Gmail, for example, then because Gmail is unable to understand this kind of script, it is not able to parse it. Therefore, it won't render it and won't display it. But instead, it will be able to display that content which is hidden in Outlook. So what you, go, what you could do in those scenarios is to prepare a content added to an Outlook, which is nearly the same as the adaptive card that is being sent and displayed in Outlook clients. However, that is going to be used by the non-Outlook uh, users. So I have here this adaptive card. It's quite easy. So um, let me just show you. It only contains uh, information about this invoice. Uh, it's hard coded. It has these two buttons, approve, reject, a field for comments. Uh, and its purpose is to simply allow participants to, to let's say, complete the, uh, the process directly from their inboxes. However, as mentioned, Gmail users are not going to see this adaptive card. So instead, I've made this not very nice looking HTML code, which is displaying something similar. So it is uh, as well displaying information about these invoice details and about um, uh, records which were present on the invoice. And then there is as well the button complete task, which is simply navigating the user to their tasks in Cloudflow, right? So to their received approvals. Maybe it's not really fancy, maybe it's not really cool, but at least it delivers some small amount of, uh, of uh, functionality so that they are able to participate in the process as well. All right, so now once I send this adaptive card, this actionable message actually, it is going to be sent to two users, to the John Researcher and to my Gmail address. So uh, let's trigger that. So now the email is containing uh, the adaptive card, right? You can see it here plus the HTML uh, that is that not really cool looking adaptive card converted into HTML. And so John Researcher, once he navigates to his inbox, he sees this adaptive card looking good 
with all the functionalities, but there is nothing else displayed, right? There is no HTML which is inside that message, but it's being hidden thanks to the flag uh, hide message body. Meanwhile, when I open my Gmail, uh, you can see that there is an email. However, it contains this uh, HTML I have prepared, but it does not contain or it does not display uh, the adaptive card content because as said, it is unable to parse it and display it. So instead, I don't have the full functionalities, but at least I am able to navigate to the list of my approval tasks and maybe complete it from there. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to open this page with the form uh, for that custom uh, task. I mean, for the how to display this page with this form displayed as well. So no idea if this is possible. Uh, if it was somehow, please let me know in comments. Um, and again, if it was, then it would be much better, obviously, to uh, to put here a URL that is opening that task immediately, not just um, um, all my approvals, so that it will be even more useful for the user that is not able to see that is not able to see the adaptive card rendered inside their their um, email. All right. Um, and that is actually it. So please remember about that very powerful property, the height original body, and think of using it for all your scenarios where you have uh, participants which are not only using um, Outlook-based clients, but are as well using some other clients from other vendors or maybe some legacy Outlooks so that they're unable to see adaptive cards or actionable messages being rendered and displayed properly. So. Um, instead, simply deliver or let them to use at least a minimum of the functionality so that they can uh, as well take part in those processes from their outlooks. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications and uh, write the video and uh, well, put down comments if you have any questions. And, and, and until the next time. Thank you, thank you, and bye-bye.